to us. So we're uh, very pleased to have the many visitors we have in our audience tonight. We welcome you to visit with us any opportunity you have. And I'm sure if you're visiting, you're probably aware of the Lads to Leaders Night, as we call it, where we recognize all of our young people participated, which will come a little later. So at this time, well, we will uh, begin our song service. Worship the King, all the rest of God, and gratefully sing His wonderful love. Our shield and defender, the ancient of days, the billion in splendor, and burdened with praise. Our bountiful care, what and privilege we have to come out and study your word. Father, help us to become better Christians and be a light in the, in the community for you. Father, we pray that you be with the ones that have been mentioned as being sick. Father, be with them and be the ones attending their needs. And if it be thy will, Father, have them restore that portion of health they so desire. Father, we thank you for this church here in, in Boonville. We thank you for our elders, our deacons, our ministers. Father, we pray that you be with them. And help guide them and make decisions will be in the best interest of your kingdom. And Father, we thank you for your son Jesus who died on the cross for our sins. And Father, we ask you to forgive us of our sins when we do commit sins, Father. And it's his precious name we pray. Amen. Scripture reading will be Exodus 3, 10 through 12. Exodus chapter 3. Verses 10 through 12. I'll be reading from the ESV. Come, I will send you to Pharaoh, that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. But Moses said to God, Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh and bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? He said, But I will be with you, and this shall be the sign for you, that I have sent you when, when you have brought the people of Egypt. People of Egypt, that you shall serve, you shall serve God on this mountain. That uh, passage that Drew read for us, of course, is a passage that we've dealt with a lot over the last several months in our last leaders program. If you were at convention, you heard uh, those verses a lot. You heard uh, a lot of speeches on that, and it's, it's dealing with um, the I am. That was our theme for the year. And if you look there in, in, in chapter 3, I just want to spend just a few minutes tonight um, highlighting some of these things. Of course, this is a time when uh, God comes to Moses and gives him a task. And we've often said that Moses, in a lot of ways, was in a good position or a unique position to be able to go and to go to Pharaoh and some of that because of his background, because of uh, the, the circumstances around his birth and being raised there in the Egyptian household and some of that. But, but that's not what's highlighted here. We, we like to go back and say, well, now, can you imagine what it would have been like? him going to the Egyptians and all of that. But what we know is, 
is God comes to Moses and he says, look, I've, I've heard the cry of my people. I know about my people. I, I, I know they're oppressed. I know what's going on. And he says in verse 10, come, I will send you. Not somebody else. Not uh, later on, but he says, I'm going to send you. I've heard about my people and what's going on. I've, I've heard the problems that they're having. I know that. And so I'm going to send you so that you may bring my people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And of course, the first thing Moses says is why? Well, now, who am I? What do you mean you're going to choose me? You know, a lot of times we want to be the first ones chosen, right? Not the case here. Who, who am I that you're going to send me? Who am I that I should go to Pharaoh? And God says in verse 12, well, I'm going to be with you. This will be a sign for you that I've sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will serve God on this mountain. God says, I'm going to be with you, Moses. We're going to take care of this. But then Moses says, well, now, wait a minute. I've already asked, who am I? Now he asks, who are you? If I come to the people of Israel and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they ask me, what is his name? What shall I say? And God says, I am who I am. You say to them, I am has sent me to you. Moses, I am has sent you. What I'm getting at tonight is this wasn't about Moses. This was about God. When Moses says, who am I that I should go? God says, well, I'm going to be with you. You hadn't got to worry about that. And then Moses says, well, who are you to send me? God says, I am who I am. You tell them, I am sent you. Moses, this isn't about you. This is about me. He goes on to say, you tell the people that the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, God of Isaac, God of Jacob has sent me to you. This is my name forever. And thus I am to be remembered throughout all generations. You go and tell them this. You tell them that I've observed what has happened. You tell them that I promise that I will bring them out of the affliction of Egypt to the land of Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, the Perizzites, Hivites, the Jebusites, land flowing milk and honey. They're going to listen. But I know that the king of Egypt will not let you go unless compelled by a mighty hand. So I'll stretch up my hand and strike Egypt with all the wonders I'll do in it. Give this people favor. But Moses isn't done. Moses says, well, what if they won't believe me or listen to me? The Lord said, well, what's in your hand? Well, it's a staff. Throw it to the ground. He did. He became a serpent. What do most smart people do when they see that on the ground? They run. That's what Moses did. God says, don't run, Moses. Pick it back up. Moses picks it back up, and it becomes a staff once again. And to me, even more amazingly, he says, put your hand, uh, put your hand in, your, in your cloak, in your clothes, and pull it out. And when he pulled it out, it was leprous like snow. That was the easy part. But now God says, put it back in there. What does leprosy do when it touches other parts of the skin? It spreads rapidly. Moses put it back in there, and Moses did. And it was whole again. God says, Moses, this isn't about you. This is about me. You do these signs, they'll believe you. But if they'll not, if they don't believe the first sign or the second sign, he said, you'll take water from the Nile and pour it on the dry ground, and the water that you shall take from the Nile will become blood on the dry ground. Moses, I'm going to show you. I'm going to be with you. This is going to happen. But Moses says, I'm not eloquent. Either in the past, since you've spoken to me, I'm slow of speech and tongue. Moses, this isn't about you. Who made your mouth? Who makes man mute or deaf or seeing or blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now go. I will be with your mouth. I will teach you what you shall speak. Moses says, just send somebody else. This time, 
the Lord is angry. And he says, well, go get Aaron. I know he can speak well. He's coming out to, to meet you. And when he sees you, be glad in his heart. You'll speak to him and put the words in his mouth. And I will be with your mouth and with his mouth. And I will teach you what to do. He will speak for you to the people. And he shall be your mouth. And you shall be to God as him. Take in your hand this staff which, with which you shall do the signs. I am. Sometimes when it comes to being a Christian, sometimes when it comes to achieving the task that is set before us, we get too self-absorbed and self-sufficient. We begin thinking it's about us. Folks, it's not about us. It's about God. It's not, about, it's not even about this congregation. It's about God. And interestingly enough, God said all this to Moses about I am who I am and I sent you and all of that. And it was this very thing that cost Moses getting to see the promised land. Because after all of this and all that happens with him leading the children of Israel over in Numbers 20, Moses still made it about him and God punished him for it. I am, what I learned this last year in listening to all these wonderful young people and thinking about this passage is, it's not about us, it's about God. What the world needs today isn't Greg, isn't you, God, I am who I am. Tonight, as we sing this song of encouragement, I want you to think about your relationship with the great I am. Maybe tonight you're not putting your, your faith and your confidence and your trust in him as you should. Or maybe it's that you've been beaten down because you've tried to do it all on your own. Understand that it's about God, first and foremost. If you're not yet a child of God, tonight will be an excellent opportunity for you to confess your faith in him, be baptized for forgiveness of your sins, and begin that Christian life. If we can help you tonight in any way, please come as we stand and as we sing together. glad to talk with you further. Uh, I do have a card that I'd like to read from the Woodruff and Nichols family. It says, your kind and thoughtful expression of sympathy is deeply appreciated and gratefully acknowledged. Dear church family, as with very heavy hearts, we said goodbye to our daddy this week. Your outpouring of love shown to our family will never be forgotten. From your prayers, calls, texts, visits, food, pottery, and the meal prepared following the service was such a blessing. Thank you to each of you for loving and praying for our family for the days ahead. Thank you for sharing memories with us. We are blessed to be part of such a loving church family. With much love, Dustin, Lacey, Bo, Medley, Melody, and grandchildren. We need to remember uh, Glenda Ty in our prayers. She is going through chemo. 
uh, and has developed pneumonia. She's in the Tupelo Hospital, hopes to go home tomorrow. Glenda is the mother of Wesley Ty, who attended with us when she was a, whenever he was a student at Northeast. And we need to remember Stacy Rogers in our prayers. She'll be having surgery on Tuesday. And again, keep the Woodruff, Tony Woodruff family in your prayers. Food pantry item again is pork and beans. Uh, you may have seen the young uh, kids walking around collecting money for Bikeathon. That is this coming Saturday, May the 11th. Uh, as they're raising monies for uh, Christian scholarships. And again, a reminder to uh, those that will be graduating, Senior Sunday is next uh, Sunday, May 12th. Graduating sen seniors need to meet in the foyer at 1015 with your graduation attire on. If there were any that did not have the opportunity to partake of the Lord's Supper, it has been prepared in the little chapel. You may exit at this time. Uh, it's in the foyer and to your left. Mike, do you have another song? Bow with me and we'll close with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you again for this day. We thank you for the wonderful weather you let us enjoy this afternoon. God, we ask that you please continue to be with the sick. And God, please comfort those that have lost loved ones this week. And God, we want to thank you tonight for all the little ones that you have implanted your word in their hearts and in their minds and we thank you for their example and we we ask you God to please help us grown folks to develop a develop the faith like these children have we thank you for all that you've done for us we love you in Jesus name amen Again, for being here tonight and, 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 and being a part of this, uh, it's an exciting time as we get to uh, recognize our young folks, appreciate them, pat them on the back for all of their hard work this year, and we're going to get to that in just a few moments. Um, as we make preparations for uh, the, uh, the PowerPoint presentation or the picture presentation, and also uh, the, the two storylines that we turned in, uh, we, we think we're going to make all that work. Uh, we'll have that in just a few minutes. Uh, let me just share with you a few things about last leaders in general, give you some updates on some things. Uh, as far as the numbers go, my understanding is there were well over 20,000 people that participated in conventions in the U.S. this year. Uh, that is now in seven cities, Nashville, Memphis, Louisville, Atlanta, Dallas, Orlando, and Visalia. I think I said that right, out in California. So seven different cities, basically, uh, from coast to coast uh, in the U.S., and now they're also having conventions in five different foreign countries. Uh, so the program is growing in a, in a big way in that respect. Uh, there are a lot of churches. I don't know exactly how many. I know uh, there were several churches that began uh, a new LADS program uh, this past year, and we're thankful for that. Uh, as far as the collection of statistics, uh, here is what I know. There were 59,200 verses of Scripture memorized this past year. 382 young folks learned the art of debate. 2,355 learned the books of the Bible. There were 3,660 speeches given by youth at home congregations, what we call the year-round speaking. There were 3,138 boys and girls who gave speeches at convention. There were 32,304 songs led by young folks at their home congregation. There were 4,868 boys and girls who led songs at convention. 
And there were 843 girls that earned the Keeper's Award this year. That is a lot of young folks doing a lot of good for the Lord. That is a lot of young folks getting a lot of training, get a lot of practicing, uh, learning how to be leaders. But more importantly, in the process, learning more about the Bible, what the Bible says about specific things, and how they can better be Christians as they get older. I always want to remind you about this study that was done several years ago. I, I tend to believe it's still to be true, even though it's dated a little bit. Uh, there was a study done several years ago over a 10-year period of folks that had been involved in the LADS program or those that had not. And what they found out is in this 10-year period, the young folks that attended worship services with their parents, of those young folks, 38% of those remained faithful in the Lord's church. Those that attended with their parents, but they were also involved in the youth program, 54% of those were remained faithful in the Lord's church. Those involved in the youth program, as well as in lads to leaders, it was 85% retention rate, which is awesome. Uh, lads to leaders isn't a magic pill, okay? But it's a both and. It's having a good youth program and having a good lads to leaders program. Uh, it's not that... Uh, just being involved in lads is going to automatically keep them faithful, but it, 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 it sure helps. Just as in uh, being involved in a great youth program helps that as well. So those two go together. It's not a competing thing. Those two go together, and we're thankful to have both here in this congregation. All right. At this time, we're going to try to get, I think, the storylines maybe going first. Are we ready for that? Okay. Have you ever faced a big moving dilemma? I have. I have. Did you worry though? No, because I called the I Am Moving Company. I Am moved my television without any nicks to my walls yeah. and no damage to my TV, as you can see here. So I would, without a doubt, call I Am Moving Company for all my moving needs. So I can say without a shadow of a doubt, there's nothing too heavy, too big, or too numerous for I am. Wait, wait, wait. What about my couch? Can I move that? Of course. If I am can move a TV, he can move a couch. Just call I am. Are you sure? It's very heavy. Of course. All you have to do is call him. Okay. Hey, I am. I need your help. Here I am, at your service. You can count on I am. Wow, why did I ever doubt I am? There isn't anything too big, too heavy, or too numerous for I am. Thanks, I am. I can't believe this happened to us. What are we going to do? This is too much, just too much. What are we going to do about this? Why me? Why me? It's an impossible situation. Impossible. <sighs> I just can't take it anymore. There's just no answer. Just no hope. Um, excuse me. There is always hope. I look around and say no hope. No hope at all. I know without a doubt there is hope. Just call. I am. You think... I am has all the moving answers, don't you? Yeah. There is no way he can handle this one. Well, I know he can. He just moved somebody's TV and couch. Well, if he can do all that, why would he help us with such a tiny problem? I'm sure he doesn't have time. Because his specialty is moving things. I just can't see it. It doesn't make sense. I'm so overwhelmed. Okay. And the answer just sounds way too easy. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, what do you know? Your life is just too easy. Because I am help me. I had a huge item to move. I don't want to compare, but my item was much bigger than this. All you have to do is call I am. Oh. <sighs> I am! I am, I am. Are you really real? I don't know if you can hear us, but if you can, could you help us? 
Bye, I'm here. Well, this is it. Really? I don't know if you can help us. It's so much to handle. Wow, he did it. He really did it. So there you go. No matter where you are in life, and no matter where you have to go, call I am. He is able to help anybody. There isn't anything too big, too heavy, or too numerous, or too small for I am. Don't, Don't worry, call now. Whoa. Whoa. Let's go to church. I didn't mean this Sunday. See you. <laughs> Turn your Bible to Exodus chapter 3, verse 14. God said, Moses, and Christ. Hey, look at this meme. Oh, I've already seen that one. Look at this one. Oh, no, y'all think that's cool? I got 253 likes on my Instagram. Whoa. I know. Hey, let's take a selfie. Way freeze. We're in Bible class and we're just way too distracted. We need some serious help. Like a good neighbor, I am is there. With a bath. What's up, man? Uh, so, my dude. What's going on? Nothing really, but this Saturday we got a party going on. Oh, really? It's going to be lit. What's going to be going on? We got all sorts of honey. We're going to be partying until we drop. Wait. I don't think I should be doing this. I need somebody to make this decision. Like a good neighbor, I am is there. With some Christians. Whoa. Who are these guys? Your new friends. Man, there's this youth rally Saturday night and you should really come with us. It's gonna be really fun. See, I don't know, cause like I'm supposed to be having plans. Mm. What? Wait, what day? What Saturday. day? Saturday. Yeah, I can't. I'm sorry. A lot of times we call on the Great I Am God to help us with our temptations and struggles. The problem is we don't do our part. We reject the things he offers to help us. Exodus 3, 14 says, God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, say this to the people of Israel, I am has sent me to you. God is the great I am and there is nothing that he can't handle. We just have to be willing to trust in God and accept his will. So will you? Are you going to trust him? I know I am. Here and now I'm in the fire and above my head. Here and now I'm in the fire and above my head. Being held under the pressure, don't know what'll be left. Being held under the pressure, don't know what'll be left. But it's here in the ashes. Right here, I'm finding treasure. to the
the power of being crushed by love. I surrender to the power of being crushed by love. Till the beauty that was hidden isn't covered up. Till the beauty that was hidden isn't covered up. Oh, it's not what I hoped for. Oh, no. It's something much better. i
A lot of folks uh, to put together a, a program and encourage these young people. There's a, there's a lot of things that go on behind the scenes that uh, you may or may not be aware of. Uh, folks just uh, do what they need to do and do their work, and I'm so grateful for that. Um, some of those things include, uh, even before we get to convention, uh, getting our t-shirts together and our t-shirt orders together and and separate, separating them according to family and getting them ready to go, getting our info packets printed and sorted and put together and getting those ready to go. We've got folks that, that work with their rooms there with the hotel directly. Um, photographer, uh, folks that get the art says it stuff there and, and checked in and then bring it home. Those that unload the puppet stage and, and then get it back where it's supposed to go. Uh, those that get all the puppet props there and, and bring those back. Um, those that work with the young folks that do the parade of leaders and getting the banner ready to go so they can, they can show that. Uh, ordering and getting our pizza ready for Saturday and making sure that's a go. Uh, folks that meet on Thursday night to help us get the registration things together and put the lanyards with the name tags and sort them according to family and some of that kind of stuff. Uh, folks that take pictures throughout the convention and then put them together to present it the way you saw it tonight. Um, those that help with the worship service on Sunday, those that help with the Lord's Supper, uh, making sure that everyone has an opportunity to partake of the Lord's Supper. And then a lot of just general registration stuff and computer work and different things like that. A lot of different folks. If, if you uh, were a part of some of those things I just mentioned, I want to ask you to stand at this time, if you will. I didn't call you by name, so I'll let you off the hook, but I do want you to stand. All right, some of those folks that that help that, just, just remain standing. Then we got <clears throat> a lots of event leaders, and then in addition, in addition to our event leaders, we've got those that help those event leaders, like with different puppet teams and Bible teams and all of that. If you're not already standing, will you please stand? Okay. Then, perhaps the greatest support is we have the parents of our young folks that get them to and from practice, stay late, come early, Encourage your young folks at hand, our young folks all along. If you're parents of young folks that are participating in our lads program, will you please stand? Mm -hmm. 
now then, we have a lot of other folks that encourage, that mentor, that pray, that are concerned, that encourage these young people in so many ways. So if you prayed for this last year or supported our lads program in any way, will you please stand at this time? All right, now young people, I want you to look around and I want you to see all of these folks that are pulling for you. I want you to see all these folks that are encouraging you, all these folks that are fighting for you to be successful. And I know that we always tell them to give them encouragement, you encouragement along the way. But I'm going to ask you tonight, when you get an opportunity, young folks, you thank some of these adults for all the work they put in this last year, okay? All right, everybody be seated. Thank you. All right, here is something a little new this year. Some of you are excited about this, some of you probably not so much. Uh, this is the time of year that our Lads to Leaders season kind of comes to a close. We reflect back over what has happened the last year. We have some folks, I don't think we have any seniors this year, but usually some seniors that graduate out, and uh, we, everything kind of comes to a close. Well, this year is also an out for beginning, because this year we want to go ahead and kick off next year tonight. Now, we're still going to have something uh, similar to what we've had in the past over in September sometime, but this is the night that we particularly want to go ahead and kick off our year-round year events. Uh, we're doing this in order, number one, to make them truly year-round, but we're also doing it to help the parents and the young folks be able, number one, perhaps to accomplish more that you want to accomplish, but also, number two, that as convention time approaches, you don't feel so stressed and pressured to finish your year-round events. So we're doing this in an attempt to kind of alleviate some of that. But we're also, we're doing it in a, to take advantage of this time that we have. And so what's going to happen, those things are out there on the, on the table, the different year-round events that we have this year. There are information sheets out there. There are uh, logs out there for the various events that you need, and then there are sign-up sheets for you to sign up. We're going to leave those out there a couple more weeks, and then we're going to really try to get this going. Uh, I know for year-round speech, for instance, I'll go ahead and be putting a schedule together for the guys and some of that, but we're going to really start looking for opportunities for these young folks to go ahead and begin starting these year-round events. That means some of you adult class teachers, we're going to ask you again to to, to have some time, five minutes at the beginning of class, to let some of these young folks come in and lead a song or give a speech or whatever the case may be. Again, uh, hoping that as we get started earlier, you'll have more time to either get a higher level that you want or just more time to get it finished. And so it won't be so much pressured on the end. So here are some of the things. Centurion of Scripture. Centurion of Scripture is a memorization of 100 verses of Scripture. Here's the thing, young people. Do you know that if starting today you memorized one verse a day, that by the time we kick off in September, you'll be done with this event? It'll be complete. Good Samaritan. Good Samaritan, you earn points doing various things from visiting, calling, sending cards, all sorts of things. You can start that right now. And by the time September gets here and we have our official registration, you can already have completed much, if not all of that. Our keepers and providers... We're going to be looking at who signs up and what our numbers are and going to try to go ahead and be starting some of that really soon. Know the books. You have an opportunity to go ahead now and, and, and learn those things. Uh, read the Word. Uh, again, start now. Uh, get ahead of that. Uh, second language. We've got some folks that want to do a second language. We'll get with you and decide what it is if you've got a preference on what that language is and try to work with you on that. The Teach to Teach. We're going to try to Go ahead and incorporate some of that uh, in the summer, perhaps even with some VBS stuff. That's, we're, we're still toying around with that, but if you're interested in Teach to Teach, be sure to sign up for that. We're going to get that started. And then you've got the year-round Bible reading or study, year-round bulletin board, year-round PowerPoint, year-round puppets, year-round song leading, uh, songs of praise, and speech. Uh, all of those opportunities to start right now. The logs for those things are out there. Uh, I stressed in the bulletin article, let me stress again, uh, parents, a lot of this is going to fall on you. 
Our event leaders are going to be there to assist and to help. If you've got any questions, I'm there to assist and help. But really kind of uh, putting the ball back in your court to make sure your young folks get started on these year-round events and, and get those things going. Next year, uh, the theme is lost, and we're going to be using the book of Luke. Uh, there's more information about this on the Last Leaders website, but it will be from the book of Luke, and the theme is lost. Uh, also out there, I forgot about this, also out there, there are some applications, not applications, there's some information about the Red Coat Award, and you can go online and get the application or get one from me. There were four students that received, uh, received it this year. Uh, I encourage you to look over that, see if that is something in which you are interested. Uh, a lot of our young people are doing a lot of things, and it will not... Um, it will not be very difficult for some of you to go ahead and do that. Uh, there will be some extra work that you have to do, some extra hours to put in, but I'd love to have some folks from Boonville to be able to get that uh, Red Coat Award. Also in the back, uh, you're going to see lots of things displayed tonight, uh, trophies and things from the convention. The banner is displayed. Uh, the art says it is displayed. Uh, all of those types of things are out there. If you've not already looked at that, I want to encourage you to do that. All right, let's get on with the, uh, with the, the trophies, and I'm going to ask our elders, if they will, to come to the front at this time and, and pass out these, uh, these trophies. Uh, this is going to go like we've done in the past. I'm going to ask you to line up to age groups. Now, of course, this is for our young folks that participated in the LADS program this past year. This is who we're recognizing tonight. Uh, I'm going to call out what I've got on record. I know that... Uh, some of you perhaps didn't do what you originally signed up to do, but I don't know who all that is, and so I'm just going to call it out. There were some of you that added things late that you did that I don't have in my records, and so it may not be exactly accurate to what I'm trying to say, uh, but, but we want to do that. Let's go ahead and have the preschool come to the front. The preschool come to the front, and we're going to have back there where Mr. Bo Gross is, we're going to call that our holding area. So if preschool will come to the front in K through 2, if you'll go back that direction to Mr. Bow back in the back of the building for the, call that the holding area. Preschool to the front, K through 2 to the holding area. Come on up. And I will say, parents, uh, these trophies are, uh, like we did a few years ago, going to start trying to do these about every third, third year or so. They've got the the screw-in pegs in the back where they'll stand up. Uh, if you don't want them to stand up, they've also got a hanger. You can hang them on the wall. So it's kind of a, a dual deal. So who we got up here? Mr. Sullivan? All right. Sullivan Long did Good Samaritan Bronze in speech. And we also uh, want to recognize Hunter Timms. Hunter was with our group, and he did Good Samaritan and oral Bible reading and song. Somebody coming to get his? All right. All right, Sullivan. Good job, bud. Thank you. All right. Our, our K through 2 is coming down. Let's have the grades 3 through 5 to go to the holding area. All right. Wait right there, Phelan. I'll, I'll call your name. You're okay. Um, Phelan Hodgen did Art Says It, Songs of Praise and Speech. Three to five, y'all go ahead and, and go to the, well, they're up front. Six to eight to the holding area is what I'm trying to say. Keep it going. Six to eight to the holding area. Three to five, y'all can come on up behind these others. All right, we got Jack Jones. Jack did a oral Bible reading and song leading and speech. Shannon Jones, Shannon did oral Bible reading, know the books, songs of praise. Thomas Long, Bible Bowl, Good Samaritan Silver, Puppets, Song Leading, Group Banner. Sarah Kate English, 
Sarah Kate did, uh, Art says it, draw and sketching. Art says it, painting, Bible bowl, know the books, gold, Good Samaritan platinum, mass media storyline, puppets, group banner, and keepers, hospitality. Davis Foster. Davis did Art says it, painting, mass media storyline, puppets, group scrapbook, songs of praise, speech, and group banner. Clara Gardner, Art Says It Drawing Sketching, Art Says It Painting, Puppets, Speech, and Group Banner. Um, Briley Hannah, Ross Parson, Cooper Farr, Cooper Did Art Says It Drawing Sketching, Bible Bowl, Know the Books, Silver, Good Samaritan Bronze, Read the Word, Puppets, group banner. Okay, six through eighth, y'all can come on up front behind them. Isaac Farr. Isaac did mass media audio presentation, mass media storyline, song leading, and speech. Hannah Pollock did Centurion of Scripture Bronze, Good Samaritan Platinum, Mass Media Audio Presentation, Mass Media Storyline, Puppets, Group Scrapbook, Songs of Praise, Speech, Year-Round Speech, and Group Banner. Mia Rosas, Bible Bowl, Oral Bible Reading, Know the Books, Gold, Good Samaritan Platinum, Mass Media Storyline, Puppets, Songs of Praise, Speech, Group Banner, and Keeper's Hospitality. Abby Taylor. Abby did art says it posters, Bible Bowl, Good Samaritan Platinum, Read the Word, Year Round Speech Bronze, Group Banner, and Keepers Sewing. All right, let's go ahead and have our ninth through twelfth grade go back to the holding area, getting lined up. This is our sixth through eighth grade group, and we have Ella Davis. Ella did Good Samaritan Bronze, Pearls, Puppets, Group Scrapbook, and Speech. Gibson Foster. Gibson did Debate, Mass Media Storyline, Puppets, Year-Round Puppets, Group Scrapbook, Song Leading, Winter Circle, Speech Winter Circle, and Group Banner. Turner Foster did debate, mass media storyline, puppets, group scrapbook, song leading winner circle, speech winner circle, and group banner. Braden here. Um, Sandra Holloway. Art says it. Photography, Bible Bowl, Centurion of Scripture, Bronze, Good Samaritan, Silver, Puppets, Year-Round Puppets, Speech, Group Banner, and Keepers, Cooking, Table Setting. Andrew Langley. Andrew did Mass Media Storyline, Puppets, Song Leading, Winter Circle, and Speech. Anderson Long. Good Samaritan Silver, Mass Media Storyline, Puppets, Speech, Group Banner. Emily Mann. Art Says It Drawing Sketching, Art Says It Photography, Bible Bowl, Debate, Pearls, Group Banner, Keepers, Food preser Preservation, and Horticulture. Riley McCoy, Bible Bowl, Good Samaritan Silver, Mass Media Storyline, Pearls, Puppets, Songs of Praise, Winter Circle, Speech, Group Banner, Keepers, Child Care, Home Safety, and Basic Child Discipline. Madison Owens, Madison did Art Says It, Drawing Sketching, Art Says It, Painting, Debate, Pearls, Speech, 
group banner, and keepers cooking table setting. Tristan Farr, Centurion of Scripture Bronze Debate, Good Samaritan Silver, Mass Media Audio Presentation, Mass Media Storyline, Puppets, Speech, and Year-Round Speech Silver. Benjamin Pollock, Centurion of Scripture Bronze Debate, Good Samaritan Platinum, Mass Media Audio Presentation, Mass Media Storyline, Pearls, Puppets, Group Scrapbook, Song Leading, Speech, Year-Round Speech, Silver, and Group Banner. Arlena Rogers. Bulletin Board, Bible Bowl, Good Samaritan Gold, Mass Media Article, article Editorial, Mass Media Audio Presentation, Mass Media Storyline, Pearls, Puppets, Group Scrapbook, Songs of Praise, Group Banner, and keepers cooking and table setting. Right, 9 through 12, y'all can come on up front. Levi Sweeney, Centurion of Scripture Bronze, Good Samaritan Bronze, Speech Winter Circle, and Year Round Speech Bronze. Amy Taylor, Bible Bowl, Good Samaritan Platinum. I read the Word, Pearls, Group Banner, Keepers, Food Preservation, and Horticulture. Haley Wilcutt, Art Says It, Draw and Sketching, Debate, Puppets, Group Scrapbook, and Keepers, Cooking, and Table Setting. Well, I see these guys have done it enough. They're already in, they're already in line, mostly. Ben Barrett, Good Samaritan, Gold, Puppets, Year-Round Puppets, Group Scrapbook, Speech, and Year-Round Speech, Bronze. Sam English, well, maybe they weren't in order after all. Sam did Bible Bowl, Good Samaritan Platinum, Mass Media Article Editorial, Mass Media Storyline, Mass Media PowerPoint, Puppets, and Group Banner. Lewis Holloway, Centurion of Scripture Bronze, Good Samaritan Silver, Year-Round Puppets, Speech, Year-Round Speech, Bronze, and Group Banner. Mary Houston Ivy, Art Says It, Draw and Sketching, Art Says It, Photography, Bible Bowl, Know the Books, Good Samaritan Gold, Mass Media Storyline, Pearls, Puppets, and Keepers Cooking. Savannah Martin, Bulletin Board, Bible Bowl, Debate, Mass Media Audio Presentation, Mass Media Storyline, Pearls, Puppets, Year-Round Puppets, Group Scrapbook, Songs of Praise, Speech, Group Banner, and Keepers Ironing Laundry. Ben Mooney. Good Samaritan Bronze. Mass Media Article, article Editorial. Mass Media Audio Presentation. Mass Media Video Presentation. Mass Media Storyline. Mass Media PowerPoint Presentation. Puppets, Group Scrapbook, Song Leading, uh, Year-Round Song Leading, and Group Banner. Sarah Pollock, Art Says It, Draw and Sketching, Art Says It, Photography, Bulletin Board, Year-Round Bulletin Board, Bronze, Bible Bowl, Centurion of Scripture, Bronze, Good Samaritan, Platinum, Mass Media, uh, Audio Presentation, Mass Media Storyline, Pearls, Puppets, Year-Round Puppets, Group Scrapbook, Songs of Praise, Speech, Year-Round Speech, Bronze, Group Banner, and Keepers Cooking Table Setting. Michaela Rogers, Art Says It, Drawing Sketching, Art Says It, Painting, Art Says It, Photography, Debate, um, Good Samaritan Gold, Mass Media Audio Presentation, Mass Media Storyline, Pearls, Puppets, Group Scrapbook, Group Banner, and Keepers, Ironing, or Laundry. Casey Taylor.
Casey did a Good Samaritan Platinum, uh, Read the Word, Song Leading, Speech, Year-Round Song Leading, and Group Banner. Logan White, Mass Media Audio Presentation and Song Leading. Harley Yates, Debate, Good Samaritan Gold, Mass Media, Audio Presentation, Mass Media Storyline, Puppets, Scrapbook, uh, Speech, Winter Circle, and Group Banner. Then we have Mr. Colin Overstreet. Colin did Song Leading and Speech, Colin? Is that right? That's what I had down. Song Leading and Speech. Let's go all these young folks a round of applause. It was another awesome year. Uh, thank you for your work. Uh, thank you for all that you did uh, to make this year as well as it went. Thank you to the parents and especially thank you to our young folks. Really say thanks to Greg. You can tell that's year round with him, you know? And I can't imagine all the hours and the effort and talking to people and all that that goes throughout the year. He does a super good job with lads and leaders. How about a good hand for him? And, and one other is Jimmy Timms. I'm telling you. She, she puts it all together. You better believe it. And there's a lot of it put together. And, and picked up on one thing that uh, Greg said, that uh, to be successful has to be a good youth program and good Lads Leaders program. And we th really thank Jordan and Stephen and Greg because those three there are the top, I guarantee, you, and, and do a great job with us. So thank y'all for being here and being part of our program. Dismissed. Wait a minute, JT. Attendance sheets. Ushers. Uh, Stephen, when you start here, uh, Tommy, get that side. Attendance sheets, please. Once you turn that in, you can go. Have a good week, buddy. <laughs>